you have a seller, they're ready to sell, and you've scheduled the appointment. The appointment is tomorrow at 2 p.m., and now you need to understand what to take, how to go on the appointment, what to say when you're there, so you can get the property in the contract. Hang tight, let me show you exactly what I do and what I teach my team to do when they go out on a seller appointments. Before you go on the appointment, you need to get everything together all in one place, preferably in one folder. I want you to take four things with you. The first thing you need to take is a pre-filled contract. A pre-filled contract, meaning you already have the person's first name in there, last name, the company name, and the purchase price already in your contract. That way, you have everything ready to go and you can already give them, present them with your offer when you're there. I also want you to take another contract, which is a blank contract with you, uh, put in your folder as, folder as well. The reason for a blank contract is, let's say you go to the appointment and you can't get them to sign, but they want you to leave the contract with them. Never, ever, ever leave a contract with your number there because they will shop your offer around. What you can do instead is, hey, Mr. Seller, you know what? I'll leave my blank contract with you um, just so you can overlook everything. If you have any questions, you know, you can talk to your family. Give me a call. Leave them a blank contract. If you take a pre filled contract and a blank contract. The next thing you're going to want to take is a camera or a cell phone, wherever you can take pictures with. Because while you're there, you're going to want to take pictures of the property um, inside, outside, um, everything that may be, you know, a concern. So while I'm there, I always ask the seller, hey, Miss Sally, mind if I get a couple, you know, photos of the outside of the house? Sure, go ahead. So you want to turn your phone, you want to turn your phone horizontally this way, and you want to take pictures horizontally of the front of the house, size of the property, and the back property. Also, the front of the yard, backyard, surrounding neighborhood. So you can see, so your cash buyers can see exactly the kind of neighborhood that you're in. And also, you want to take two to three pictures of every room. You want to stand in the corners, make sure you call again, hold your phone horizontally, get a picture of the corners of the house, corners of the room, kitchens, bathrooms, hallways, anything that may be a concern. If you see a roof leak, get a picture over that water spot in the roof. Um, if the bathroom is a little shaky, get pictures of that. So the camera is a good way to get photos. Uh, take a video as well. Hey, Miss Ellie, you know what? I'm going to need a, about a, a 20 second video. That'd be okay with you? Ask them, get permission. Get a video walking around the house, inside, outside. That way, your cash buyers have you know, a pretty good idea of the condition prior to going over there if they want to go. Your video, your photos may be all the uh, proof that they need before they make a decision. Take a good camera or a good cell phone while you're going over there. And this, and the next thing is, you know, this is this is kind of a, uh, it's going to be up to your discretion. Um, you want to maybe print out the three lowest comps. Now, if your buy, if your uh, seller is kind of a stickler, they're kind of a red seller, kind of you know direct to the point. You might want to print out the three lowest comps so you can show them, hey, Mr. Seller, you know what? The property uh, at 123 Main Street sold for this price. And you may want to give it so they can see it, so they can really see that. Okay, I see that. So that way they can have something to relate to. To say, oh, hey, you know what? This guy may, be, you know, he, he might know what he's talking about. That's going to be up to your discretion. But I recommend you doing that anyway because you were, I would rather you be overprepared than unprepared. So um, that's always good to have. I've, I've done that in the past where people... Um, you know, just kind of a, they're 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 kind of they're kind of analytical. They want to see things. They want you to see the number. They want to see what the house square footage is, what the bedrooms, bathrooms, the acreage. They want to see all those things. So print them out. Have them if you need them. And the last thing, most important thing, you should take is a smile. A smile. These people want to do business with you. Don't go in there uptight. Don't go in there all serious. Build rapport. It's important for you to build more rapport in person. They've been speaking to you on the phone. Now you get to shine in person. Your personality gets to come out. You get to crack a joke. You get to talk about a painting on the wall. 
speak about what kind of car they have in the driveway. You get to pet their dog. You get to build rapport. Actually, you know, be a human. Because people want to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. And now, if they were on the fence about maybe, you know, doing business with you, your personality can, you know what? Okay, you know what? I like this person. Let me do business with them. So you want to take these things with you on your appointments. You want to make sure you go there one time. You get everything done. But your main goal should be to get the contract signed if they're ready to go. If they aren't ready to go, they may want to say, hey, leave me a contract. Leave your, your contract with me. Don't leave your pre-filled. Leave them a blank agreement so they can look it over. Never leave a contract with your numbers because they will shop your numbers around. Never do that. Leave the blank. You can take off, but follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. So again, let's go over everything. You want to take your contract, a pre-filled contract, a blank contract, a camera, either a cell phone, um, iPhone, whatever you can take good pictures with. Hold your phone horizontally, not vertically, horizontally. Take good pictures. Um, a pen to write with, that's going to be, that's going to be a given. Um, but also you want to take, you know, print out maybe your three lowest comps if you have a red analytical seller. Um, and also a smile. So these are things that I recommend you do when you go on your appointments. Don't overcomplicate it. These are people. These are, you know, just like you and I. They aren't going to do anything, you know, bad to you. They're either going to tell you yes or no. They tell you no, follow up. Just that simple. Remember, this is a simple business, but it's not easy. Don't overcomplicate things. This is a simple business, but it is not an easy business. Guys, thank you so much. Continue to follow me. Subscribe. Tell a friend about me. Like and leave me a comment. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.